All right, everyone, here we go. This is an Is This You reading. I got a whole playlist of these if you're new here or if you're not. These are all timeless. This is just energy reading. I, I asked the universe, give me a, a profile, a chunk of my viewers, a piece of you. This will, these readings here, they're general readings. Yeah, uh, they only apply to some of you. Okay, and that's why there's a whole playlist of them. They're all timeless and find one that applies to you if this one doesn't. Either way, this is somebody right here. Somebody who's a little bit wishy-washy, if you will. I don't know about something. We'll get to it. Anyway, the, the pre-shuffle gives me a profile. I pull a general energy. I pull advice and I pull a future influence. We'll see where we go here. Ah, uh, that being said, it doesn't matter what your sign is, and I already said it's timeless, so if you found this reading, you probably were supposed to, or you found this reading so you could find the playlist, and there's something in there for you, either way. This is somebody here, I asked the universe, give me a chunk of my viewers, okay? Uh, I got somebody here, you got a plan, okay, that's pretty vague, I know, but it is. you got a plan. The three of Pentacles, you're starting something. Whatever it is, I have no idea. You're, you're, you're ready for something new. The death card crossing the three of pentacles. Okay? You're in. You're out. You're wishy-washy. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, God, I don't know. It's a lack of... The nine of swords crossing the two of swords is a lack of self-confidence. All right? A little bit. A little bit. Then, you, you find it again. You find that self-confidence. You nope, I'm going for it. Okay. And then you self-sabotage it with a lack of self-confidence, the five of swords. And then you're setting the intention. You're making plans. Right? You're making plans. And then you do nothing. Four of swords. Two of wands. You're getting there. You just you got to work on yourself a little bit. The Eight of Pentacles is there as the last card out. That's working toward that Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a lot of self confidence. This reminds me of, of years ago when I went when I quit smoking. This reminds me of years ago. I, I, I had this plan, right? This is this plan. It was it, it, every. This is the last one, and I throw it down on the ground. That's it. That's the last one. I'd say, and then about. 1200 cigarettes later that was the last one right everyone is the last one i think i see the problem here before the advice cards even come out sometimes it's best if you have a plan or an idea okay sometimes well whatever it is or a person you want or a person you want to be however this applies to you sometimes it's best just to do it if we apply, usually the things we accomplish in life, the great things, are things we just took a leap of faith and did it. And I don't have a fool here. I got somebody going back and forth. A fool would be the, a fool card, not calling you a fool. A fool card somewhere in here would be that leap of faith that gets taken. It doesn't. It, 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 it's just a back and forth energy. Sometimes when we put ceremony on things, right, we make it ceremonious. It, it becomes a big deal. And then we get in our head about it. We get in our head, nine of swords, about it when it becomes a big deal. Sometimes you just got to do something. That, that last cigarette, for me, ended up just being one I didn't even think about until like two weeks later. I thought, huh, I haven't had one of these damn things. Yeah, like that. Rather than the, this is the last one. And I'm going to, there you go. I'm going to throw it right there, make it ceremony. It's like anything else. And anything we add ceremony to becomes a big deal. Even like the Academy Awards or the Emmys or something. It's a big deal. Big ceremony. Go out and get a fancy dress or a fancy suit and all that kind of stuff. It becomes a big deal. You start to get nervous. You start to, you know, your self-confidence starts to waver. Oh, they're going to take pictures of me in front of those stupid ad boards. All kinds of, you know. Try not to add ceremony to whatever this is. That's the problem I see here. I see somebody overthinking it too much a little bit and wavering on their self-confidence. You think about something. Especially if this is like a business plan you have. Might be with the Three of Pentacles. I don't know. Could be a life plan. Whatever. Things along those lines. Uh, you think about something too much. You find too many reasons not to do it. And, and anybody. No matter even the best looking person on the planet. The most gorgeous human being. If they stare in the mirror too long. They'll find something wrong. They'll find a flaw. A divot. A, a mole. Or whatever. Something. Something. There's always something. Anyway, that's, that's the pre-shuffle. That's the person. You're back and forth on something. 
You're in, you're out. It's a self-confidence issue, but I think it falls more on ceremony. I think it falls more on somebody being a little bit too ceremonious about something. Could be walking away from your soulmate even. It could be that. Maybe, yes, yeah, Steve always says leave the door open and then, you know, go about your business. And if they come through and they don't suck, great. But you can't put ceremony to that either. You, you just do it, right? I know it's a Nike slogan. I don't want to get sued, but just do it. Yeah, that kind of thing. Let's see. Let's pull some general energy on that pre-shuffle here. All right? That's, I tell you, some of the greatest things in my life that I've accomplished, I just did. I didn't think about it. I didn't worry about it. Because if I thought about it, I'd never do it. This YouTube channel might be one of those things. If I had known in the beginning and, and started thinking, my God, th th there's going to be 30,000 people watching my videos, uh, be, you know, that, that's kind of nerve-wracking. I don't even think about that while I do these. Otherwise, it'd be a little, you know, yeah. If you think about it, it's a little crazy to put yourself out there in front of that many people. Especially with something so sub subjective of what I'm doing. Like these Is This You readings. Alright, so Is This You, let's get some, let's get some general energy on that pre-shuffle. Justice. <laughs> Four of Cups. Seven of Swords. Yeah. And the uh, Page of Cups. Mm. Yeah, it's a self-confidence issue a little bit. It's a page of pentacles. That could be a little bit. You have around you, whatever this is, you have around you a lucky energy. This is a very lucky energy around the page of pentacles. It always is. Okay? It really is. Um, that's just the overall energy here. I don't like to use the word luck but every, because no such thing. But everybody knows what it means, so I use it, you know, if I, it, it, as, as a reference. J uh, justice, bookend in the Page of Cups. Um, you're thinking, I think, I think you're thinking too small about yourself, okay? I think you're thinking too small about yourself. You think, because I see it here, it, it does reflect here, but I see it here with the Seven of Swords crossing the Four of Cups. You're too afraid of being disappointed by whatever it is. You're too afraid of being disappointed. So you small yourself down a little bit, and you see that as okay. You see that as, well, justice, for lack of a better way to put it. I don't think it is. I, I, don't, I, think, I don't think you're doing yourself any justice by seeing yourself as a page here. Because that's how you come across it. At, at the bottom of the deck, it's also a page. And I see it as a, it's a self-confidence issue, yet there's a lot of luck here around you. You can achieve this, whatever it is. All right, Even if it's walking away from your soulmate, you can do that. Don't put ceremony around it. Right? Don't, this is, this, this is it. They got one more day, and that's it. No, because that's going to go on just like my, my, my last cigarette did. That's going to go on for about 12 cartons. Okay, it's just going to keep going and going. Every one is going to be the last one. That's the last one. I'm chucking it down on the ground. That's it. No, 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 no. You want to do something? Yeah. You're, you're selling, your, this is an energy of selling oneself short here a little bit. And you're deceiving yourself with, with any worry of disappointment. That you should read the latest blog article I wrote because there, there is no such thing. Nothing in life is certain, okay? And even if things go bad, you don't know that they won't go good again real quick. You, you don't know. Granted, if you're a pessimist, you'll say, well, then they might just stay bad. But pessimists, you should never be. A, I don't see a pessimistic energy here. I just see a, a little lack of self-confidence. The pessimists always run into that problem because it's self-fulfilling prophecy. They manifest their own crap. You know, you can't. You can't do that. If you understood energy, you'd never be a pessimist. You wouldn't be an optimist either. You'd be neutral. You'd be down the middle if you understood energy, which is what I try to teach you. You know. Anyway, let's get you some advice. Next column. Next row of cards, I should say. What's some advice here, universe? What's the advice? As if I didn't already give it in the intro. Uh, let's see. Ace of Cups. <laughs> Empress. The Moon. You don't know what you don't know. Yeah, look at that. It's right there. And the Three of Swords. All right. You're, again, it's just what I just said. It really is. Uh, 
things can change on a dime. It's, it's judgment. It's the phoenix rising from the ashes aspect, energetic aspect of judgment, okay? Sometimes we get hurt. Sometimes things don't work out. Sometimes things don't go our way. It is what it is. But you don't know what you don't know with the moon card here, okay? There's no such thing. This really is my latest blog article about the un uncertainty principle, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. It's right here. It, it's you don't know. Just it, things might hurt you. Things might not. You, you just keep going. It, especially if you're in Empress energy, you've got to find this energy. All right. You're not in it. If you're this person, you're not in Empress energy. It came up in the advice. It all pages showed up up here, and and a lack of self confidence for whatever this is, a job, a, a life plan, uh, even just you know. Uh, walking away from a relationship or walking away from a, a soulmate type thing that you've been waiting on. I'm done waiting. I'm done this. Whatever it is. You keep wavering on it. And this energy that we're in right now is not real conducive to in and out behavior. Um, you've got to find this energy. And the way you can find it is, first of all, stay neutral about outcomes. I always tell you that. With the win, the lose, the yes, the no, you have no way of knowing What's going to happen? Even something you think is a sure thing may not come in. Ask any gambler. Ask any person with a gambling problem who keeps betting on the horses. It was a sure thing. I put everything on it. You have no way of knowing. There's no such thing as that. There is no such thing as certainty. All right? In the energy that we live in, in the universe that we live in. That being said, the Empress tends to attract things. So it tends to take the attitude of, well, if it doesn't work out, Something else will. There'll be something that comes around the next corner. So the Empress stays relatively neutral for outcomes because she, you know, she's. It's a very attractive energy. You need to get in this energy. I recommend you listen to 417 Hertz. You could find some files on YouTube. 417 Hertz. Go to bed to it at night. You don't have to listen to it loud. You don't even have to have headphones if you get the pure tone version, right? You don't even have to have headphones. You can just play it out of some speaker or on your desk or some shit or whatever. Uh, and just let it, let it ring through you. Let it reprogram you a little bit. Let it help your energy align to this type of energy right here. It's, it's, it's the energy of the uh, sacral chakra, all right? Or sacral, as some people call it. Anyway, uh, stop this. This is nonsense. Uh, you've got to get in this energy. Everything's always okay. It is. Everything's always fine. No matter what happens, everything's fine. Even if, you know, people, and, and you'll, I'll get pessimists all the time when I say that, who, who will say to me, oh, well, what if I get a diagnosis that I'm going to die in six weeks? Is everything going to be fine then? Yeah, it will. Because in six weeks, assuming that diagnosis is right, which usually they're not, by the way, uh, but assuming it is, in six weeks, you're not going to care. You're going to be off in another in, a, in another lifetime. You're going to be going back to the love that you came from. And then, generally speaking, by my experience, and I'll write a blog article on it at some point. Generally, within about uh, a 20-year time frame, we end up in another in another vessel. So yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> it's just nothing to worry about. Should never fear that. There's nothing bad about that. Assuming you learned all your lessons here in this life and you didn't sit here in this page energy here. You believe what you want to believe, but that's how energy works. It can't be created or destroyed. It just transforms. Anyway, you know, you might spend a few years as a chipmunk until you get another human vessel, but you'll be all right. That's fun. You end up in another human body with a craving for acorns. Uh, let's get the future influence here if the advice is followed. The advice is simple. You've got to get into this Empress energy, okay? Good things happen, bad things happen. There's too much fear of failure here, and it's a, it's 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 backed up by, on a, a self worth issue, okay? Some sort of lack of self confidence, yeah, more lack of self confidence than anything else. What's the future influence here? Assuming the advice is followed, what is it? What is it? Wow. Okay. Ooh, Jesus. Holy crap. That's nice. That's actually quite nice. Eight of Cups, Two of Cups, Knight of Cups, it's all fucking, and Victory, the Six of Wands. Yeah, listen to my advice, okay? 
The Queen of Wands is at the bottom. It's, it, it is the energy of the Empress. She's all four queens. This, this Queen of Wands, this is the attractive energy of the Empress. This is where the Empress can walk into any bar or pub and everybody turns around and wants to hit that shit. Whether they're married, whether they're there with somebody else, whether they're single, whether they're male or female, gay or straight, everybody wants to hit the Empress when she walks into the bar or pub. It's that energy right there. You can have that energy around you if you take the advice that was given to you. I recommend the 417 hertz for you. I think with the energy I'm reading, it's the vitamin you need. All right? Right? You know, sometimes you doctor tells you you're, you're low on, vi on B vitamins or you need more vitamin A. You need more 417 hertz. Okay? That's what you need. Uh, this is, you don't even need me. This, this is beautiful. All right, this is the eight cups walking away from eight broken cups. This is your eight broken cups up here. The profile. This, the general energy of the profile. You thinking it's okay to be a page. It's okay because, you know, I don't want to be disappointed here, so I'm just going to self-sabotage this and keep changing my mind and going back and forth. That's nonsense. There's no way to live life. Even, un, even in this state, you don't know what's coming. You have no idea. What's coming? Things might be horrible for you right now. You're living in a box outside of 7-Eleven, watching me on stolen Wi-Fi. I mean, it is all bad. You got two cents in your pocket, and that's all you got. And on a dime, it could change. And I can tell you, I've been there. I have been there. I've been down to my last 30 cents. I have. And I can tell you, it changes on a dime energy if you allow it to flow and that happened for a reason that happened to teach me the value of certain things I learned that at a very young age the value of things a lot of people don't know they know the price of everything and the value of nothing but you learn to appreciate things a little bit more and that was what the universe was trying to teach me with all that with you here this page is not good enough you have the potential to be this whatever this is that you're back and forth on stop it all right, because the the if you follow the advice here and you get in this energy, the world is your oyster here. We got the Eight of Cups, uh, book ending the uh, Six of Wands, victory, after a long battle. Uh, I believe it, a battle with yourself more than anything else. You get a lot of victory here. You get to walk away from the Eight Broken Cups of this shit toward Nine Cups. Emotional fulfillment, wish fulfilled, that kind of thing. A wish come true. And look at this. For a lot of you, this is about love. If it's not about love and it's about some kind of career thing or a life plan, it doesn't matter because we all, as I, as I teach you guys all the time, we live life by the cups, ideally. Okay? That brings you everything. That gets you all of it. And this is these are two of the most powerful cup cards I can pull down here. You already got the Ace of Cups here, so you have the potential. It's there. But you're hurting yourself by worrying about what's around the next band. And the reality is, this is nice. These are your center cards here. It's two cups. Two, my voice cracked. I'm, I'm 12 again. Two cups crossed by the uh, Knight of Cups. Whatever it is that you succeed with here and walking away from this shit, this behavior, uh, toward the Nine Cups, which I might add also cups, um, it's something you really love. It ends up ver working out very well for you in the end. Okay? It's something that you end up... If it's a person, there's a lot of love. There's a meeting of the minds. It's nice. If it's you walking away from the soulmate and just leaving the door open for them, like I always say, you meet someone even better. That's really nice. But you've got to be in this energy to do it. If it's a job, it's something you really love. It goes so well, it changes your whole life your whole perspective on your life, okay? But you've got to be in this energy. Page is not acceptable. That is not acceptable. You're thinking the page is justice and that's deception. That's self-deception. And it, 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 that is what the, where the disappointment is. You're worried about, well, I'm going to just back off on it because, you know, I don't want to be disappointed. That's self-sabotage. Those are the two layers of energy that are swirling there. No, 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 no. You've got to understand the concept that the Empress understands, which is you don't know what's around the next corner, right? Take life as it comes. Just go with the flow. Try new things. Be brave. Your, our core energy that we're moving into right now is very, very conducive to that kind of behavior. I can see why we have all success here, all right? 
all of it, your entire future influence is, this is a beautiful card pull. It's fantastic. Uh, victory over the eight broken cups, two cups, and a knight of cups. So it's something you love or someone you love, everything works out. Everything always works out. The Buddhists say that all the time. Just if left, if left alone, most things settle themselves. All right? Just go, if you go with the flow, even if you're starting a business here with this, if you go with the flow, you just deal with things as they come. You don't sit around and worry about stuff that hasn't happened yet. Yeah, plan for it. Think about it, but don't don't stress about it. Don't let it self-sabotage you, knock you down to a page. If it's love, eh, love, love is always a risk. It always is. But you don't know. You might allow someone in and they and they might hurt you. Okay. I can see how that might keep you up at night. But what if I offer a possibility that maybe allowing that person to come in you meet someone through that person who then proves to be down the road this knight of cups and this two of cups you don't know the, the bottom line is you don't know what you don't know you don't know there is no certainty in our universe <laughs> as my latest blog article says the only thing that's certain is uncertainty it is what it is anyway read that article if you want it ties to this beautifully all right that's your reading um, is it? Is there any? Well, is there anything else the universe wants to tell you? I don't know. Let's find out while we're here. Give me one card, universe. Is there anything else you want to tell everyone here? Anything that I haven't touched on or whatever to this chunk of people, whoever this is that I talked about in the pre-shuffle? Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're cool. It's the magician. You can do it. You can do anything in the 3D. To be honest with you, the 3D is all illusion. It's nonsense. This table isn't even solid. It's 99.9999999999% empty space. Okay? That's what we're hitting, the energetic bombs. So, again, you're fine. Stop thinking a page is good enough. No, it's not. Look, look how it, if you follow the advice, look how it thrives. Look how the outcome is. This is the predicted outcome if the advice is taken. And all you got to do is realize you don't, you don't know what's around the bend, so you might as well take chances. Life is a series of leaps and faith. Leaps of faith. <laughs> leaps and faith, to be honest with you. That's it. The magician. You're the magician. That's what the universe wanted to tell you. You're the shit. You can make anything happen you want, but you can't do it in the, in the energy of a page. You got to get in this energy. 417 hertz. Find yourself a file on YouTube. Pure tone, I recommend. 417 hertz, pure tone. You can have it with music in the background if you want. Doesn't matter. But either way, I highly recommend it for whoever this energy is. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right? Good luck.